Hello there guys, welcome to episode 6 of this gameplay. Last time we finished this game, we were finishing 3rd, 33 points, 3 points behind the top 2, which isn't bad at all. So this episode we're really going to be focusing on these home games that we've got with Bristol City and Tramir coming up. These are going to be major, major points in our season, I think, especially this FA Cup first round. I think to get a bit of money is going to be very, very important. Last episode we found out Brett Ormerod was an absolute genius in the attacking midfield role, uh, so he's going to stay there there. Madeira is doing the bit up front on his own with 19 goals and 17 appearances. So yeah, we're going to keep that the same. Okay, then moving on to the tactics. I'm going to leave it as it is at the moment. I think we bought McLeod in, didn't we, from Everton on loan. He actually, two assists already, he's not too bad. Um, I'm going to put Fenton on the bench. I've replaced Richardson with, with that guy there. Um, keep this guy at left back, even though this Gordon came in. We offered him a new contract and got him in for the future, which is really good. All 100%. Uh, this is the team we're going to go for. Uh, let's see how we get on against Bristol City at home. Okay, then we're at the half time point, um, halfway point. Sorry, nothing to really talk about there. Wellens is playing at an eight, and Reed's playing at an eight. Reed really isn't an experienced defender who we want to keep. I mean, he's he's up with us till 03. We'll try and keep him as long as we possibly can, but we need to find a goal from somewhere. I know they're fourth, so this is actually a really close game that we're playing now, and it's not one to be taken for granted. But this is a brilliant opportunity for us. Six thousand. We pretty much filled the stadium as well. So let's see how we get on. Okay, so there's the first goal. Madeira again with his 20th goal of the season. Uh, guy seems to be absolutely nailing this at the minute. Um, Ormond actually isn't having that much of a good game at the moment. I'm wondering whether to put Bullock on instead of him, but... Yeah, they've got an equaliser. I knew that was coming. Uh, let's just hope that we don't concede another one just before the end here. Okay, one all draw. I mean, well, we're still around there, aren't we? You know, we're still, we're still doing okay. Uh, next game is Tramir at home, which should be an interesting affair. Tramir is sitting seventh, so this is a really good opportunity to bridge the get to really make a gap, should I say, between seventh and third place. Okay, also, just so you're aware, I've actually started to um, add a few players who are actually, their contracts are starting to expire, and they're actually said they're interested in me. So what I've done is I've basically just added them to the list. Uh, like Muzzy is it here, he's up in 02. I'm kind of hoping that they don't renew their contract, even though he's happy to stay there now. It's a little bit gutting. People like Xavier, he went actually at the time, he was at Everton. Um, but we just don't have the money at the moment to do that. We're hoping next season that maybe... Um, when they become free transfers that we do have a little bit of a budget to actually spend and try and attract some of these players into the football club but there's some really big players here like Stefan Effenberg uh, Muzzy is it this guy who I bought on the previous gameplay from PAO he's absolutely amazing Dennis Bergkamp he's actually interested in us as well uh, Kolozhny we all know this guy brilliant defensive midfielder absolutely outstanding wants a new contract they probably will offer him a new contract he's played 13 games oh Whistler that reminds me They've got this guy here. Oh, he's contracted till 08. He's not moving. I'm going to add him to my shortlist, though, because the guy is a legend, and we'll hopefully, down the years, we'll see if anything happens with that guy. Okay, we've just received an offer from Birmingham City for Ian Hughes. I don't really want to sell this guy, but Birmingham are actually quite... He wants to negotiate a new contract, actually. I suppose I could actually just give him a new contract. I might just delay... They'll probably give up, yeah. But yeah, we'll see if he accepts a new contract. If he's unhappy, then we're pretty much screwed. And he's probably end up going to go anyway. Right, Tramir Rovers at home. Um, I am thinking... Oh, Bullock. I do want the same team. I still think this team has so much potential. Let's let... Oh, Hughes, he's back, actually. I've not, just realised he's not playing Hughes at the minute. I need to play this guy. Yeah, let's get him in. Right, okay, let's do this. Okay, 1-0 to Tram here. A little bit disappointed, not going to lie. I thought we'd be able to do a little bit better against these. Uh, this is going to be a big issue if we do end up getting beat here because they're going to bridge that gap, which we don't want them to do at this point. Okay, one all. Richie Wellens with the equaliser there for Blackpool. Hopefully we can push on now and get another goal. Uh, oh, Mickey Mellon. I had no idea Mickey Mellon used to actually play for Tram here. Okay, there's the goal. Tomadeira, 85th minute. Hopefully we can hang on here just to finish this off. Yep, we did. Fantastic. 6,000 again. We're filling our stadium here, which is fantastic. That takes us to second in the league, uh, which is a lovely position to be in. These home games haven't really gone as planned as I, I would like them to go, really. Uh, Wickham is the next game there in the FA Cup. This is huge. We want to see if we can actually 
um, progress in this competition and the Vans trophy as well Southport that's not bad actually that's a good draw I think that's that's something that we could actually mess around with in terms of which which players are going to play that game I think we could possibly get away with a, a weakened team there okay Birmingham have come in again for Hughes he's currently considering a new contract I'm just going to out and out reject this bid yeah, he still seems okay. We'll see if he accepts the bid. Okay, he's rejected that offer, so we need to try and oh, we need to try and do that again. Let me just have a little look here. Could give him a little bit more money, couldn't we? We could give him a goal bonus as well. Uh, let's give him a little bit more. Let's push it up. Let yeah, let's see if we can entice him with twenty grand signing on fee. So then Shrewsbury have come in for a bid for Ivan Williams. He's actually not a bad little player, to be honest with you. We did actually put him on the transfer list. Um, go to 110k, and he's yours. All right, that'd be quite a nice amount of money to get for him, I think. Oh, this is big news. Shh, wow. Coventry, are they Premier League? Are they Premier League, Coventry? No, the Division One. Wow. Um, let me just check this. Oh, so I could actually exchange a player here. This might be worth. Oh, he's eighteen. Actually, he's not too bad. You want a decent player coming in because he Quinn's a good player. Actually, you could just out and out do a straight swap do you know what I'm rejecting it and he's not unhappy so that is very very good news okay Shrewsbury have given up on Jones that's perfectly fine right then here it is the FA Cup game against Wickham same team don't see any point in changing things around at this point this is just a big game as any if not bigger okay there's the first goal Clarkson that's fantastic let's just make sure we can keep this momentum going now ah oh, we didn't <laughs> And Strachan's injured as well, so John O'Kane is going to have to come on and take up that defensive midfield role. Okay, Wickham, 2-1 up. This isn't really going to plan at all now. I feel that we need to expand this stadium. I don't think 6,000 at home is a, is a good enough capacity for a team like Blackpool. Again, they've done it They've done it again. You know, it, we've just got to... Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh my God. Offside. Ah, oh, there we go. Hughes, get in. Finds the net. Right, come on. There we go. Wellens. That's why we're keeping him. Fantastic goal by Richie Wellens. Oh, they've equalised. What a game this is. At least they're getting the money's worth. Okay, full-time whistle means that we go. We have to go for a replay away. Strachan's out for three weeks. That is a killer blow, really. That replay is on the 28th. Um, right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, uh, comment for more videos. I'll see you guys later.